Hello everyone, I'm Kyla and welcome to my channel. So basically, I am two weeks postpartum and I decided to film like, you know, my basic essentials that have gotten me through three pregnancies and, you know, each pregnancy was different. So I figured like, you know, I can share based on my experience what are the things that I found useful in terms of like the recovery for mom. So if you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to talk about is your situation down there and it is a bloody mess. So these are the two two items that I have been using. Uh, this is a maternity pad, even though it looks like a regular sanitary pad, it is not. It's a lot more cushy and more comfortable. I actually was using a sanitary pad prior to this, um, but I just found it really, really itchy and hot and just uncomfortable. So I did a little bit of research and found that they actually had these and there is actually a difference because um, it is just a lot more cushy. So yeah, just bear that in mind if let's say, you know, you would like an alternative from the overnight panties which I cannot stop talking about because these are super super useful even though they are pricier than like the pads they are more comfortable and you know yeah you just feel more comfortable I just can't explain it it's like just using panties in basically and these are just what they are overnight panties so these are actually more uh breathable like the fabric as compared to the plastic packaging which I actually filmed in my previous video so the box the fabric from the box is actually a, bre a breathable fit. So yeah, I was actually wondering why is it why was this actually like so much more comfortable than the packet and I found out why. So yes, bear that in mind if you uh, are looking to get one of these. So moving on from that would be a binder. This is basically the one that I've been using for all three of my pre uh, pregnancies. So I got like super good mileage out of these like if you can just look at this part here the velcro part it is just so worn out but it still works the just look at how firm this is and i just i didn't even use any strength to really adhere it together so yes and this is the one that i've been using it comes with these two additional straps here which you can tighten towards you know as the weeks go by you can actually like pull it a lot more tighter um Basically, I got a masseuse who came by uh, my place maybe a couple of days after giving birth. So she would come by for like seven days straight to massage your entire body. Um, but the main thing would be, you know, the womb massage. She would actually help to get out as much lockier as she can. And then the on the final day, she would do like a womb push up to push it back into place. Um, so after each session, she would actually wrap me in this really, really long cloth. Uh, I believe this wrap is called like a bang kung bong kung or something like that. I can't really remember the pronunciation or like even the spelling. I would uh, search for it and link it below. So basically she would wrap me in this really really long cloth. Um, and then that's just, it basically works like a binder. Um, but it's a lot more uh, difficult to put on. So she actually gave it to me at the end of the session and she taught me how to use it. Um, and after each session after she wrapped me she would actually ask me to you know put this one on above it just for like uh optimal results so this actually helps to get you back in shape as soon as possible too so yes on that note about like you know wombs this is what i have been using non-stop every single day uh, it is plugged into my bedside wall um it is the electric blanket that i actually brought to me brought with me to the hospital and i only used this for my third pregnancy because you know i just decided to try it out and i was blown away by how much i've been using it uh it is basically like a warm water bottle you know those thermal bottles that you fill with hot water when you get your periods and stuff like that so i've been using this for not only my stomach but also my legs my back my shoulders because you just ache everywhere from feeding and your ever-changing boob size um so yeah, I found this to be really, really useful. Um, one of the things that I did not expect was after pains for my third child. For my first and second, I didn't really feel much. So like I said, with every pregnancy, it is going to be very different. So for my third one, the after pains were insane. Uh, but I just have a thing about like taking painkillers. So I don't really like taking painkillers. So uh, maybe that's why I felt it um, quite a fair bit. Uh, but yeah, so I actually use this blanket to help with to ease the discomfort and i found it really really worked so for this one i feel it's better than the water bottle not only because it's more convenient but also because it has a timer and also a temperature control so i actually can just fall asleep and this thing would just turn off automatically after 45 minutes 90 or 120 minutes so yes this is definitely a good thing to have and it's not too expensive too 
another thing that you would need would be breast pumps so basically i've been using an electric breast pump um because your milk would come in a couple of days after giving birth the initial stage would just be colostrum so it's just this thick yellow substance um it's not really much because all your baby needs would be like a teaspoon or something like that uh so usually if let's say you know your baby's not feeding properly within the first few days and not gaining enough weight they would actually ask you to express the milk out using a syringe to feed your baby um but i didn't have to do that for um my third one so but yeah it's just something that like the doctor was just telling us if in any event the, doc the baby was not gaining weight because for my third child she was actually like borderline um in terms of her weight and she was like a lot smaller so yeah that was one of the concerns but thankfully you know she drank properly and everything so when your milk finally comes in your boobs feel super super engorged and just uncomfortable it's just full and you just feel like they're going to explode so it is always good to have an a hospital grade electric breast pump so another thing to help you feel more comfortable would be bras so you have nursing bras which i'm using right now so it has like this clip-on thingy so this you can just like unhook it i don't have to explain a nursing bra you just unhook it to feed your baby uh and your nursing bra here so that you know your hands are basically free to use your phone yeah use your phone not gonna lie that's what i do so here oh wrong side so this is just how it works you have this hole you just slot this thing in and then yeah if you have not seen one of these then this is what this is for uh okay let me see on that note about breastfeeding i have here hydrogel pads uh if you do get any like you know what do you call it sores or cracks on your nipple so while breastfeeding so for my first two babies they actually had um like a short tongue kind of what i forgot what it's called like there's a name for it not short tongue um i can't remember what's the name for it but anyways um, basically tongue tie so basically they had tongue tie so we actually had to cut the the the, the there's a little thing that attaches the the tongue to like the bottom of the mouth so they cannot stick their tongue out so that actually caused a lot of like cracks and sores on my nipples so it was a super uncomfortable process so for my third one um i actually got this just in case and it's something that i actually used for my first two because yeah that's something that they had and the whole process was just uncomfortable but for my third one she does not have this problem so um yeah i'm not using this but i'm just you know giving you a full review on like my three different pregnancies and like what i found to be useful for each of them because they are all different so uh, another thing that I actually use for my first two and not for my second, my, my third, uh, would be Tux Witch Hazel Pads. So basically they're like just these little cooling pads. Uh, one big tub comes with like a bunch of like cotton pads that you can use down there. It just really soothes, ev soothes, soothes everything. Um, because for my first two I had stitches, so that's the reason why I actually used the, the Witch Hazel Pad. But for my third one I actually did not have any stitches, so uh yeah i didn't have any use for it so i didn't get it um and also because for my third one i actually the doctor was telling me something about like a placenta placenta the placenta was hanging really low or something low lying placenta in the initial stage but eventually like it moved up so basically when you have that the placenta is lying really low and there's a possibility that it may cover like the opening so you cannot give birth like vaginally so at the back of my mind i was thinking like oh okay so c-section has to be an option uh and i was super terrified of that and thankfully uh towards the end everything was okay because like the placenta moved up on its own at like the very last minute so i'm so thankful for that and yeah so that's the one of the reasons why i did not get it this time around and i didn't have to use it because she was a lot smaller as compared to my first two boys uh okay and the next thing the last thing would be your confinement food your meals and stuff it would be good if you have someone who can who can help you prepare so for myself for my first one actually i actually catered for like two weeks and then my mom decided you know uh i'm gonna help you and um yeah so just like things that i prefer because when you opt for like the catered food you can't really choose what you want uh they just give you whatever you need 
so with my mom helping me she can basically choose what i want instead so i mean it's always good to have someone who can help you but if you don't then of course catering is another option so that you know it's just fast free you don't have to worry so much and you can just focus on recovering um and taking care of your newborn baby another thing would be these uh this uh longan red dates tea so basically i've been just drinking this like crazy i used to really really love the taste of this but now it's just uh, a bit much because i drink this every day and it's like a huge container of this and i just have to finish it um it's nice, don't get me wrong, but eventually when you drink this thing every single day, it just gets a little bit much. But it's supposed to be good for you and your, your recovery and everything, so that's the reason why I drink it. So yes, if you do like this video, I hope you found it useful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, bye!